please welcome your host. I'll just check who it is. Oh, it's me, it's Luke McGregor. Thank you. It's too much. Um, thank you for coming. Welcome to the 2023 Melbourne International Comedy Festival Gala. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks, guys. <laughs> thank you so much for coming tonight. Uh, we're proudly supporting Oxfam Australia. This is actually the 29th time that the Comedy Festival and the Gala have teamed up. 29 also happens to be my lucky number. Um, it's not, but I wish it was because I am nervous. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought this would help, but I googled how many people are here. <laughs> it's 2,900. It's 2,900. Um, to put that in perspective, only 38 people came to my 21st. <laughs> Thanks, that means a lot. <laughs> Thank you for coming tonight. We have got an amazing lineup tonight. Uh, we are on the lands of the Boonwurrung people of the Kulin Nation, and it is, it, is, it is wall to wall excellent comedians. If anyone does badly tonight, please know that normally they are very good. <laughs> Just having a bad night. Um, uh, I'm your host tonight, Luke McGregor, and I am married. Oh. Thank you, thank you. I was really hoping some people would walk out. Well, if he's not single, no point of being here. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing. Any questions? <laughs> yes, I am having regular sex. Thank you. <laughs> it's my wife. Um... <laughs> I'm so sorry, that's, 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 that my wife is here tonight, I don't know where, um, uh, but um, can't wait to have some of that regular sex when I get home. Uh, <laughs> is it weird if I read out my vows? <laughs> I'm gonna read them out. Please don't leave me. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's just weird. I thought being married would make me feel like more of an adult. It, it hasn't. I, my, my, my least favorite thing about being an adult is that there's no one to, to dob to anymore. <laughs> like, there's a lot of stuff that happens in life that the police can't take care of. <laughs> and there just needs to be someone in between us and the police. <laughs> like, if you're in public transport and someone's sneezing on you, you just got to suck it up. <laughs> And that's frustrating because when you were a kid, you used to be able to tell a teacher, you could tell your parents. For example, um, I was in the supermarket and uh, I was in line and someone, instead of lining up behind me, they stood beside me. <laughs> they stood beside me and I freaked out because I've never killed someone before. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just frustrating. I was at a party and I ordered myself an $18 cocktail, treated myself. <laughs> And as I was walking back to my friends, someone stuck their finger in it. <laughs> Just stuck their finger in it. And I didn't know what to do. He was bigger than me. I didn't want to fight him. I didn't know, do I tell the bartender? Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I tell my wife? Can you please go uh, deal with that? <laughs> like, I didn't know what to do. And this guy walked off with this great tasting finger. <laughs> and I've got this finger cocktail. <laughs> and it was six years ago and I'm over it. <laughs> But it just frustrates me that there needs to be someone between us and the police, just like a, like a triple one. <laughs> like triple one, and you call it, and you just, uh, hello, triple one, what's your emergency? Uh, yes, hello, um, I am on a tram, and there are plenty of seats available, but someone has just sat next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, I also feel like I should mention the green velvet jacket. They, they said I, I couldn't wear a t-shirt and I, I, I overcorrected. Um, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thanks, I really did that, thank you. Um, 
Guys, we've got just an, an, an amazing night of comedy tonight. It is, it is, it really is amazing. Um, I have to go to the toilet, so I'm gonna get going. Um, but <laughs> um, are you are you ready for your first act? Um, okay, that's that's really good because they're, they're standing right there, and it'll be very awkward. Um, <laughs>